Here in the i button and in the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Welcome to video number 25 and from this video onwards, we are going to start a new topic that is application of Fourier transform to boundary value problems. So before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of Fourier transform with your friends. Okay, so let us start topic that is application part of Fourier transform to boundary value problems. The first point, okay. Yes, here we are going to discuss some points, okay. So the first point is if u, which is a function of x and t, okay, u is a function of x and t, and the value of u is given at x equal to 0, okay. The value is given when x equal to 0, okay. If this part is given, then we need to use infinite Fourier sine transform, okay. Yes, I am repeating this point once again. If u which is a function of x and t and the value of u is given to us at x equal to 0 then we need to use infinite Fourier sine transform okay let's suppose this part is given that is if del u upon del x which is a function of x and t and at x equal to 0 del u upon del x is given then we need to use infinite Fourier cosine transform okay here u is given at x equal to 0 here del u upon del x is given at x equal to 0 okay if u part is given at x equal to 0 u is a function of x and t okay remember that u is a function of x and t and if the value of u is given at x equal to 0 then we need to use infinite Fourier sine transform if del u upon del x which is a function of x and t if this part is given at x equal to 0 okay if del u upon del x is given at x equal to 0 then we need to use infinite Fourier cosine transform okay now coming to the third point okay yes these points are very important because if you want to solve the problems on application part of Fourier transform then we need to use at uh, uh, which point what formula to be used okay so coming to the third case that is if minus infinity to infinity okay if the limit of x is for minus infinity to plus infinity okay if this part is given then we need to use infinite Fourier transform okay if the range of x is from minus infinity to plus infinity then we need to use infinite Fourier transform now coming to fourth and fifth point okay fourth point says if u which is a function of x and t okay u is a function of x and t and the value of x is given as zero and u comma u of c comma t that is the value of x is c okay basically from these two points we can say the value of x ranges from 0 to c okay so this is finite the limit is finite are given okay that is if u when x equal to 0 comma t and u c comma t that is x equal to c comma t okay are given then we need to use finite Fourier sine transform okay if these two parts if you can say that is these two parts are given and the limit of uh, x is from 0 to c in that case we are going to use finite Fourier sine transform okay and the last part says if del u upon del x at x equal to 0 this u is a function of x and t okay u is always a function of x and t and and at x equal to 0 this part is given and del u upon del x at x equal to c is also given again I am saying the limit is from 0 to c for the for x the limit is from 0 to c if both are given then we are going to use for a finite Fourier cosine transform okay we are going to use finite Fourier cosine transform now let us see the problems that we are going to solve in this in this topic that is application part of Fourier transform now here in the first problem you can see that is the limit of x is from minus infinity to plus infinity it means we are going to use this third part that is we are going to use infinite Fourier transform okay if you see in the second problem if you see in the second problem here we have okay yes the value of u is given at x equal to 0 okay the value of u is given 0 when x equal to 0 okay value of if the value of u is given at x equal to 0 in that case we are going to use yes here we can see if the value of u is given at x equal to 0 then we are going to use yes this formula that is infinite Fourier sine transform now coming to the third question here you can see yes solve the equation this if this part is given okay here you can see del u upon del x is given as 0 when x equal to 0 okay I am repeating this once again the value of del u upon del x is 0 when x equal to 0 it means we are going to use 
the second part okay that is del upon del x at x equal to 0 is given then we are going to use infinite for the cosine transform fine yes now coming to the fourth and fifth part of questions yes here it is already defined that is using finite for the transform solve this okay yes here you can see given two conditions that is u okay u is a function of x and t okay the value of u is given when the value of x is 0 okay and the value of u is given when the value of x is how much c okay so here you can see the the uh, the limit is finite okay the limit is finite okay and the limit of x ranges from 0 to 4 okay so here i have said that is if this part is given that is u at x equal to 0 to x equal to c okay if the value of u is given in both the cases when x equal to 0 and, and at x equal to uh, x equal to 0 and x equal to c in that case we are going to use finite Fourier sign transform so in this problem in problem number 4 we are going to use yes that is Fourier finite finite Fourier sign transform in this problem but if you see in the last problem here we have this part that is del u upon del x at x equal to 0 equal to 0 del u upon del x at x equal to 6 this value becomes 0 okay so in this problem we are going to use this formula that is if del u upon del x at x equal to 0 and del u upon del x at x equal to c which is 6 in the problem number 5 both are given okay then we are going to use finite for the cosine transform okay i hope it is clear at uh, okay for which problem which formula is going to be used okay so let us start solving problems one by one 